Hi, I'm Corey Rogers, Vice President of Marketing for National Equipment Dealers. Today, I'm standing here in Columbia, South Carolina on a rainy day, and uh, we're actually visiting with our service department, our parts team, and we'd like to showcase some of the great talent that we have working as a team here in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, customers come first for us, and uh, we have to have great people behind the scenes to make our solutions come to life. And we're able to do that, certainly, out of Columbia, South Carolina. We are in the process of installing an overhead crane to improve our efficiency and help our mechanics to provide solutions on large, heavy equipment. We uh, are a large Hyundai dealer and Bell truck dealer, so having this overhead crane is going to make a big difference for those guys. Um, we're going to take a few minutes and visit with our service manager, Jason Owen. He's just done a tremendous job of assembling a real talented team for us. And I uh, want to show you why the people make the difference in our company. And, how that impacts our ability to serve our customers and uh, why you should do business with National Equipment Dealers and May RHI here in South Carolina. So take a few minutes with us. I'm Jason Owen, service manager at the Columbia branch for National Equipment Dealers, May Heavy Equipment. Um, we're out here today, we're having a mobile overhead crane installed in our shop. Basically our crane's gonna span the full length of the shop. It's gonna give us uh, access to seven bays where we'll be able to work on multiple pieces of equipment at a time uh, use it for bigger jobs you know pulling engines pulling transmission things of that nature uh, here at the columbia branch we currently have uh, five shop technicians a shop foreman we run three uh, fully capable service trucks out of this branch we also have a lube truck and we also have a parts delivery equipment delivery driver that works out of this branch um, we're basically a full line, fully capable shop, do any kind of repairs. Um, adding our overhead crane is going to increase what we're capable of here. Engine transmission removal make it a lot easier and safer for our technicians. Name's Steven Rogers. I started with the company nine years ago. I got my foot in the door actually through the National Guard as a diesel mechanic. My name's Sam Owens. I've been with the company for 12 years. This December, I mean January coming up and I'm a slow technician on all the heavy equipment we got and, and can do about anything. Hey, I'm Deion Taylor with National Equipment Dealers May RHI Columbia location. I've been with the company for seven years. I do the welding and fabrication for the shop, mechanic work or whatever else they need me to do. Uh, my name is Caleb Simpson. I've been working over at uh, National Equipment Dealers since January of 21. So as a shop tech, I'm mainly uh, more like the electrical side of things due to my electrical experience. So I do like all like the light kits and cutter head switches and stuff like that. Anything electrical, it's really up to me. My name is Jesse Statler. Uh, I've been with May uh, collectively just over two years. Service mechanic for in the shop. Um, specialize in wiring, diagnostics, stuff like that. I'm Antonio Owens. I'm in the Columbia region. And I just came aboard in August of 2021. I'm a wash tech here. I um, clean the heavy equipment. I clean the front end loaders, the, the excavators, the bell trucks. Make sure they're all clean for when they come, when they get ready to go out. I started in the business right after high school. Uh, while I was in college, I worked in the warehouse at another forestry equipment dealer, uh, packing and shipping parts. Then I moved over to a parts counter job as a parts person. Uh, through my career, I've worked as a parts manager, a service writer, service manager for about the last 15 years. So I kind of grew up in the business and kind of got to see each side of the business and how the parts side worked, the administrative side and the service side. So. I feel like I, I communicate with my coworkers a little bit better because I kind of know what they've been through and what's needed to get jobs done and what to expect. Started on the wash rack, it was just me, Henry, and Sammy at the time. Uh, I'd wash the equipment, bring it in, help them work on it, and eventually just move my way up to a shop tech you know, as a shop foreman for a little bit. Uh, went on the truck for a couple years, went on to deployment, then kind of stepped down as a shop foreman at the time. Uh, when I came back from the deployment, worked in the shop, back out into the field, and now as a shop foreman again. Uh, eventually, I'd like to work my way up to the service manager spot. That's my, that's my end goal. 
basically, somebody told me about the place a long time ago and I just came up here and they kind of hired me. I didn't have any mechanic experience and they just trusted to hire me on. They hired me on to be a parts runner and you know, help around clean up the shop. And then they moved me to the wash tech. Then I worked my way up to mechanics helper and you know, mechanic. And then they showed me some welding techniques and then I picked up the welding. And now I took it real far with the welding and the mechanics and now I'm just a do it all shop tech kind of guy. They kind of bounce me around and do me Anything they need me to do, I'm pretty capable of doing it. Originally, I was working over at, uh, as an electrician for about a year or so, but I just realized it wasn't really my calling. And uh, my father, Kenny, works here. So he told me to get on the wash rack. So I got on the wash rack. And then within two months, I kind of helped out in the shop and stuff. I got to a shop tech position. I've uh, been turning wrenches for about 15 years now. Um, job challenges me every day, learn something new every day, and that's why I like it here. I, I used to work for Quality Construction. They had Hyundai products. So what I used to do, I used to operate, and I would like flash mechanic too. So I used to come up here, how I really got to know them, I used to come up here and bring the um, equipment up here, front end loader. And as I used to bring the front end loaders back and forth, because we right down the street, I started seeing the opportunity and asking them if, if they hire. So, that's how I got on with that's how I got on with me. Um, I enjoy being around the equipment. It's still like uh, like a kid playing with toys some days. So um, it's really enjoyable. It's stressful at times, like any job. But at the end of the day, we try to be safe and have have a little bit of fun when we can and get the job done. Kind of above all else. So what I really love about my job is. All the people I work around and with, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the most important, getting out there, getting to meet people, and keeping them happy. Uh, what I really like about my job is how hands-on it is. I'm a real hands-on learner, so it just makes it really easy. I don't like sitting in classrooms or anything like that, so college was never good for me. So it's nice to have a job that I could learn on the job and not have any debt. What do I love about it? I love the camaraderie. I love that I get to work around other experienced mechanics that I can lean on and they can teach me things and further me with my mechanic stuff. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it, what I love about it. And then I love the growth of it. It's always growing. There's always opportunity to move here, move there, move up, you know, so that's what I love. What I really like about my job as a shop tech is something new every day. It's not the same old run-of-the-mill job. It's something that challenges me and, and uh, I don't get bored with it. What I like is, is better opportunity. You start off as a watch guy, then you're going to come in and be a mechanic. You know, because I used to be an operator. I feel like I've got a great, great crew here at May. Um, everybody works well together, gets along good. Um, we've got some older guys that have more experience, some younger guys that are learning from them and vice versa with the computer sides of things. So everybody tries to chip in and help each other and whatever it takes to get the job done, we try to do it as a team. It's a, it's a very family oriented company. You know, I, I feel like everyone's family here. You know, there's no, there's a good structure, but they're going to take care of you. You know, no, no matter what the what the situation is, they're they're going to try to do their best to take care of you, and that's what we try to portray to our customers. Well, oh, overall the company is great. I love it. I wouldn't trade it because you know, like I said, they they gave me an opportunity when they really didn't have to, and they brought me in and let me just grow and blossom like a flower. So. Overall, the company is actually excellent. They they take care of their the employees. I have no complaints about the company. The company is overall just fantastic. What I like about working here is going out, meeting people, and enjoying service my equipment and stuff. I mean, the company is a great company to be with. Be with. Um, what I like about working with uh, National Equipment Dealers so far is it's a it's a growing company, so there's a lot of room for op opportunity, and they treat you right. So it's a real good work environment. 
The team atmosphere here is really good, it's really strong. You know, if you ever need a hand, they're willing to help you. And they're really knowledgeable too, so, you know, it's actually good help. Here at Ned, they, uh, they treat the employees very well. Um, I haven't had a better company to work for. Yeah, so to any like new mechanics wanting to work here or in the mechanic field, you know, just don't wait, jump in it. You'll learn hands-on real fast if you're good. You know, they'll help you out. Uh, it's a growing field and there's a shortage right now, so if you're good, you'll move up. It's a, it's a very hands-on, so if you like working with your hands, you know, being out in the field, learning different things, um, it's not repetitive, you know, great great people to work around, you know, it's, it's all, it's fun. I mean, I enjoy it.